When police in Israel found a runaway husky, the hunt for its owner was a strange one. How do you identify a dog without the owner present? But, the method is suspected, human suggested, would certainly answer the question without any doubt. The police turned on a song and waited for the husky to sing. Wherever you are in the world, being a police officer must be tough. You need a large skill set and the nature to deal with all kinds of different people. In fact, on occasion, you even need to be good with animals. That was the case with Israeli officers patrolling the Negev Desert near Beersheba. During their rounds, they came across a group of youths at an archaeological site in Tel Sheva. The youngsters were caring for a Siberian husky who looked unhealthy and thin, so they went to investigate. The Siberian Husky sounds like an unusual breed to find in a hot country. However, they're not as unsuited to the climate as you might think. Although, they're known as sled dogs, they are also capable of surviving in hot conditions too. Huskies have a double-layer coat made from two different types of hair. Their undercoat is thick and protects them from cooler weather and arctic conditions. However, guard hairs comprise the top coat, which traps air and reflects the sun. So, in fact, either hot or cold extremes suit huskies, which accurately describes Beersheba's climate. Nevertheless, the officers could tell the husky was sick. As a result, they approached the teenagers and inquired about their dog. The group explained that they didn't actually own the husky, nor did they know where he had come from. They found him in his current emaciated state and stepped in to look after him. Consequently, the officers took the dog back to their headquarters. After giving him food and water, officers began the process of tracking down the husky's real owners. In this regard, they already had a lead. One of the officers recalled that a Beersheba local had reported that his dog had gone missing. So, they started from there. After contacting the unidentified local, officers were pleased to hear that it sounded like they had found the right man. But there was still a matter of confirming the dog's ownership, so, they requested that the man drop by. He had another idea though. Apparently, the dog owner explained that his canine had very specific music tastes. If officers played one of the dog's favorite songs, he told them the husky would join in. He preferred the theme tune from either children's TV show, Arthur, or the show Shemesh. Shemesh was a sitcom broadcast in Israel in 1997, and it ran until 2004. When production ceased, it still clearly had its fans though. So, the officers chose to play the husky its theme music. They also filmed the dog's reaction, just in case, he sang. The footage uploaded on April 9, 2018, shows the husky initially lying on the floor. But that's before he hears the music. As it starts, the dog immediately raises his head and his whole demeanor changes in a matter of seconds. The husky seems to be listening to the music and tilts his head to one side, then the other. Suddenly, he throws his head back to the sky and starts to howl. The serenade entertains the officers present so much, they can't help but burst out laughing. The husky's long howl is all the proof the officers need to identify him, so, they contact his owner. The subsequent reunion is also recorded on the YouTube video, and it's incredibly touching. When the man arrives, he overjoyed to see his buddy. When he reaches his husky, the man falls down to his knees. The dog is just as happy to see his owner, and with a little howl, goes directly to him. The husky's tail starts to wag, then he circles his human. After that, the husky showers his owner with affection and kisses. The Jerusalem Post described the event on April 25, 2018, including a translation of the man's words. They are just as heartwarming as his emotional reaction. I cried the whole way here, the man says during his reunion. You poor thing. Then addresses the officers who saved his best friend directly. Thank you, thank you so much. The touching video has since gone viral and reached hearts across the world. So, why do some dogs seem to sing along to music? It's worth noting that Siberian Huskies are genetically closer to wolves than dogs. As such, they don't bark often, which is a territorial reaction, and talk to each other with howls instead. The Huskies' reaction is likely a way of trying to communicate. 
Additionally, studies have shown that some dogs show a preference for certain music. To Deborah Wells, a psychologist at Belfast's Queen's University, the results were clear. It is well established that music can influence our moods. Psychology Today quoted her on April 2, 2012. For example, classical music can help to reduce levels of stress, Wells continued. Grunge music can promote hostility, sadness, tension and fatigue. It is now believed that dogs may be as discerning as humans when it comes to musical preference.